Welcome to our YouTube series of HubDoc training. It's perfect if you're starting to use HubDoc for your small business, coupled with zero. So we've got a few short videos taking through the basics of HubDoc. You can either watch them in order, at your own pace, or dip in and out to brush up on your skills. So, how do you set up HubDoc? First of all, to access HubDoc, the easiest way is to do it for your zero account. You just click your organization name in the top left, and then click HubDoc, and it will take you straight there um, because you're already logged into Zero anyway. And now you're in. You'll be greeted with a demo doc, um, an invoice for Foxglove Studios. Now we'll ignore this for now and leave it here, but it's a good example of what an invoice will be going to look like once you've sent it to HubDoc. For now, let's push on with the setup by explaining what this screen is and what we're looking at. So this is the process screen. Whenever you log into HubDoc, you're going to be met with this screen, the default here. And it will show you a list of the most recent items that you sent to HubDoc over here on the left hand side, whether they've been processed or not. You can also click through the tabs here, so you can see all docs, the ones that are in processing, uh, the ones that you need to review, so if there's something wrong with it, failed um, documents that have been sent, or archived ones. So all the archived ones are the ones that you've already sent to Zero and are staying to HubDoc um, forever. Probably at least there's a, until there's a nuclear holocaust or something. <laughs> Now when you've entered a bill or invoice into HubDoc, your next job is going to be to check the information is picked up and push it into zero, which you can do here. There'll be more on this in the video later. For now, let's move on and take a look at the settings menu, which you can access by clicking the cog in the top right hand corner. Now here you'll see certain settings which you can navigate through. The first of which is uh, manage accounts. And what it means by that is accounts that you've got connected to HubDoc. Now it's here where you can integrate with certain accounts um, and it will basically, it, 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 if you click on say BT for example, you enter your login details for BT and what HubDoc will do when an invoice is raised by BT it will automatically pull all those in invoices into HubDoc for you, automating it, which is awesome. So there's ones like telephone, utilities and suppliers where you've got a credit account. You just need to search each company here to see what's available. So let's look for Travis Perkin, boom, there it is. Um, and once set up, invoices will automatically push into HubDoc once the supplier raises it. So here, if you click on the suppliers tab here, you also see a list of all your suppliers and you can edit certain items. Um, just click on the name of the supplier to expand the menu. Now this is definitely worth the time to do if you're looking to automate HubDoc as much as possible. For example, you can enter the public publish details um, of where it's going to go into zero. Um, here. And if you click the auto sync button, once you've completed these details, whenever you send an invoice into HubDoc, it will automatically go into zero without you having to log into HubDoc, which is great. Now, carrying on cycling through the settings here, you can also see accounts you've hidden in HubDoc that you don't want to see. Um, click on the users tab and you can invite a user or see the users that you've got within your organization. Under the organization tab, you see more settings that can also be amended. Um, also, more importantly here, you'll see the email address. The email address um, that you can use to send emails, to email in your documents so they automatically go into HubDoc, which is, it's a good idea to make a note of this email address or save it in your email for future reference. Uh, we'll come, on, come back onto this in a later video. You can also delete your entire organization, but I wouldn't recommend you click that. That's the red button that's usually only a president of the USNA that has access to. So don't, don't click that unless you're really sick and tired of HubDoc. And finally, you can see integrations. The important one obviously being zero. Um, and it's here that you can edit the, edit the, the tax settings. Uh, so if you're VAT registered, you definitely want this ticked because it will pull in all the VAT details. If you're not that registered, you want it unticked because it won't pull in the VAT. Um, information on, on your invoices. You can also know that you can also link it to your document cloud storage accounts uh, like Dropbox and uh, Google Drive so it makes it getting um, invoices even easier into HubDoc. And that's it for setting up your HubDoc. So you're ready to start sending invoices and bills which is pretty good timing because that's our next video in the series. So if you've enjoyed this video and you found it useful do us a massive favour and hit the like button or subscribe to our channel to see future videos.